Texas Rangers win the World Series. When the season ends, is baseball really over? Of course not. It's early morning practices. It's pickup games, whenever and wherever. It's the anticipation for the game today and the crack of the bat tomorrow. It's history. And it's groundbreaking. It's a dream that becomes a reality. It's believing through all the stops along the way to the journey home. When it's in your DNA, it's always time to play ball. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I can hear myself. Yep, hold on, I had to fix that. So, welcome everyone to another edition of the Michael Myers Road to the Show series here on this Tuesday night. Um... Let's see where we are. Oh, we are playing the Mets, as you all know. And um, it seems like Michael Myers. And Michael Myers, we know, has been... He was on a slump, but guess what? He got out of that slump. And um, he's... Well, he's still got a cold streak, but he is hitting the ball better uh, the last couple of games. And we are... Uh, 61 and 84. Uh, the Mets are 61 and 84. We're in first place in the American League. And there is our Hattonfield slasher, Michael Myers. Remember, he ended the game yesterday with a home run. And um, I'm not even going to swing at that. That was a good take. Oh, we're going up against a forkball pitcher, too. Oh, cut fastball high. For a moment, I was thinking about swinging at it. Ah, I got me. Two and one. Let's see what this guy got. Yeah, he's got a... Uh, up. Caught me right in the inside. Oh, I'm going up against Sanga. Oh, the... Nice pitch, though. And he got me. Strike three. I was uh, caught looking on that. Leading up for Toronto, the third baseman, Michael Meyer. And I follow that on the slider. So not a good way to start off this uh, game here. And I follow that. Oh, and two. And I hit the cutter. Well, I wanted to hit it. It was in the strike zone, all right. And I popped that one up on the four seamer. And I'm out. Not happy with that, but hey. Oh, oh, 
you know what time it is. It's been a freaking second. You know what it, you know what he's here for. You know what he's here for. You know what he's here for. He's about to be in rage mode. And he grounds it. Oh. Yeah, Singer has beaten Michael Myers so far. And Michael Myers, well, at least Toronto is up by two runs. And uh, Landor is batting. And uh, he gets the out. But we had to beat up on Singer. And, um... Oh, we got Katana in there, pitching. And, yeah, he got me on the uh, the 12 curve for the strike. And I had a swing at that sinker. 0-2 uh, is the count. And the pitch is... Oh, base hit, base hit. Okay, okay, we can take that. You can take that. That was a little. Uh, please score that as a base hit and not an error. Oh, and Jensen hits the two run shot. So it's more than likely that we're going to win this game. But the Mets are trying to come back, and uh, guess what? We win the game. Um, one for four, even though we did get the hit late in the game and stuff. We got hit with the six four, uh, a pop three, the strikeout, which I will admit that was a great pitch by uh, Sanger there. Got me just in the uh, bottom corner of the plate inside, and uh, we're going to go in and... Um, Wow, we're 90. Oh boy. So more than likely, more than likely, we're we're this close to clinching the American League East. And here he is. We're down two nothing, going up against a left-hander. And David Peterson it looks like. And I'm gonna take that in for the strike. And I grounds it to second. And I'm out. But we're down a run. We got a runner on second. My goal here is to try to get that run in. And I pop it foul out of play. Well, that one uh, is hit foul back. And there's the 0 1, the 0 2 coming up, and I swing at that curve. But man, why did I swing at that? And I'm in the hole right now. Alright, not gonna take that in there. Um, I want a curveball right up the middle. Oh, but I got a circle change. That's good though. Got the run. Got the clutch hit right there. Runner advances to first, and uh, oh, they want me to steal. Okay, I'm gonna try to steal. Oh, he got me. Well, we're gonna need to focus on uh, stealing here. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to get better with stealing the base. And that's a foul. Uh, that's probably on the right field side. Yeah. Good eye right there.
All right, I'm gonna let him steal that. Even though that was just on the upper part of the strike zone. So it's two and two. I didn't want to hit that too because probably I was gonna get a pop out of that. Count. Ooh, count was full. He held on that. Nope. And I walk. All right, good um, plate discipline. I'm not gonna lie, right there. Ah. And I chop it to chop the third. Thank you. Thank you. I had to go with that. We're down five to two. And oh, oh. Oh, what a play. He does the Jita-like play. All right. So we got Lopez in there. I wanted to go for that curve. Fool me on that one, too. Sinker. That's uh, 0-2. We're in the hole. And I strike out. Let's see what he did right there. Mm. Didn't like how I played in that game, too. I mean, I did get the hit and I did get the walk, but I got the K. So, it's not... Looking good here. I think we're back to our slump. And next up, we got St. Louis. All right. I need to focus on speed. And we don't have that here. Why? Why, why don't you want me to focus on fucking speed? All right. All right. We're going to do the base stealing drills. There we go. Now we're going up against St. Louis. All right, so they're giving Michael Myers the hot streak again. There you go, bat and fort. Uh, going up against the Cardinals, 81 and 65 at the Rodgers. So here we go. Um, and I ground it to short, and they're going to flip it to the second baseman. So at the six point, let me see this um, the fan cam here. A lot of fans at uh, Roger Center, uh, uh, you know, formerly the Sky Dome. You know, we're in WrestleMania. By the way, we're in WrestleMania season, and that was the home uh, to WrestleMania six, which we all know, title for title. And then, of course, you know, WrestleMania 18, when The Rock went up against Hulk Hogan. And I follow that. Got me on the slider. I mean, well, I did make contact. At least I made contact on the slider. And he got me right there. And easily tag up on the base. Uh, let me get to that. Oh, Montreal. The Montreal school. Oh, you know what time it is. It, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's rage time.
and we're down by three runs. Oh, when he hits the pitcher. Oh. Oh, he hit the pitcher. Oh, I hope the pitcher's all right. Uh-oh. Could Max be out of the game? I think so. I think that is affected him. Uh oh, here we go. Yeah, he's not in the game now. I got him. Uh oh, base hit. Base hit. Yes, yeah. Yep, I did say Montreal Survivor Series. 1997. Shawn Michaels and Braha. I mean, ever since the, uh, the Rage Mode, I think Michael Myers has really gotten hot here. Yep, that's why they call me the human wrestling uh, encyclopedia. And another hit. <laughs> Three for five. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm going to try to steal here. Uh. Ah, he strikes out. Now I think I'm going to try to go for third right here. This could be a bad jump. All right, hold on. I need this. I, if we get this run right here, man, on a walk. I'd be happy. Base it. Base it. I don't care. Give me the run. Yes. Um, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't put it as one of my favorite sports. It, it, it is sports entertainment wrestling. Um, don't get me wrong, but the thing with it is to be, to consider something as a sport, it has to be like team sports, you know, tennis, I consider that as a sport. Golf, I consider that as a sport. And, uh, like, anything, well, let me just say, it. anything that's competitive, that, that's a sport to me. Wrestling is kind of chore choreographed. Yup. Exactly. And that's a wow! They gave me a strike on that. That book, that pitch was inside. I went yeah, I heard about the Dak Prescott thing. Um, if I wasn't covering baseball a lot now, oh, I'd be going off on that shit. 
I, I mean, not that I really care about Dak Prescott and all, but the Dallas Cowboys, man, they are the most fucking cheap ass fucking. Um, they are fucking cheap now. This time, they this time to become the Yankees, and uh, I was listening to my boy Jr. today. Shout out to the Jr. Sport Brief. You know, one of the original OGs of um, YouTube. You know, who has his own sports show. And they were talking about the possibility that Dak Prescott might leave Dallas after the season. And if that is the case, man, I, I mean, you guys are starting to become fucking. Oh, home run! On a cut fastball that was hanging. Four hundred and twenty five feet. But as I was saying, um, yeah, this whole Dak Prescott thing, I mean, if they don't sign him to an extension, uh, he's gone. It's like they really don't care. I mean, this is why fucking Jerry Jones, man, has to fucking leave, man. Like, this guy gotta fucking retire. I'm sorry, man. Oh! I almost killed another pitcher, too, but he caught that. Wow, he got lucky. Like, the Dallas Cowboys, man, they don't care about winning the Super Bowl anymore. It's like the Patriots now. The Patriots don't really care about fucking winning a Super Bowl anymore, too. And they probably won't for a long, long time. Because they're, they're like, what? They said, yeah, we're so successful. We won so many Super Bowls. We've won six of them already. Let another fucking team win. Let's see another team build a fucking dynasty. You already seen that with Kansas City. Oh, Celtics better win this year, dude. Ah, oh, I strike. They better fucking win that shit this year. Or I'm going off. Seriously, bro. I am fucking going off if they don't win the championships this year. I could have gone off on the team last night, blowing a 30-point lead. I could have gone off on that team, man. I mean, I heard about that shit. I was like, yo, this is not fucking. The catcher, number nine, Danny. Oh, yeah. Montgomery going. You know, let me just say it like this, people. We're fucking trying to, like, with the Yankees, dude. You knew that Garrett Cole is going to be out. But you don't sign the motherfucker. It, I mean... I could tell you this is going to be a long fucking season, dude. It's just going to be a long fucking season. And it's going to be really at that point where I'm going to be like, I can't wait till the season's over, man. I cannot wait till this fucking season's over, man. Uh, you're already going to hear that shit. Because it's fucking pathetic. This team is pathetic. They're garbage. I'm sorry, dude. Like, I, uh, you. And by the way, uh, if y'all checked out the Instagram tonight, you did see the Messiah Tavern tonight. 
exclusively. So for all you fucking booger eaters out there, um, that want to say Mama's basement and shit, well, there it is. That's my Mama's basement. Yep, I got that curve right there, too. I followed it. I needed that to be a little bit up. Yeah, so the fucking dipshits, man. I'm telling you, the Cashman followers are fucking unsubscribing to me. Because they all thought they were going to get real Yankee talk instead of me bashing the team and shit. What do you expect? You know, like, to these people out there, do me a favor. Check out who you're subscribing to before. Oh, shit. Yup. 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 I get advertisements and everything from this. This is my full time job. I mean, I go to friggin', that's why, you know, uh, my sponsorships are paying me. They're paying me to go to um, WrestleMania and shit, you know? But I don't have, but the thing too is I don't have any press credentials, so you're not going to be seeing me at the, the media scrums and all of that. I'm there to report it, update it. Um, I also will be at a lot of the shows over there. Um, that's why I'm not live streaming um, the Ford, uh, the, the late, late week stuff. Because I'm going to be at a lot of them wrestling shows. I'm going to be at the GCWs. Um, oh, what a play. Caught me on that one. Oh, yeah. And that's the thing, too, you know, like, um, you guys, you don't know how much wrestling shows I'm going to, um, on that weekend. I could tell you about a dozen and a half wrestling shows I'm going to WrestleMania weekend. Um, fuck, man. It is. Um, I'll tell you, for, uh, hold on just a second. Somebody texted me all right I'm back here so So years ago, um, oh, we're playing the Texas Rangers. Oh, we got to see what the standings are right now. Um, I've been on YouTube for people that uh, are new subscribers. Um, I've been on YouTube since 2009. Uh, this is actually my second channel. Oh, we clinched the division. We're still one of the top team, the top two teams. We got the Astros leading the West. So I had left YouTube for a bit because of I had another opportunity out there, and it was called a uh, sports blog. So I actually wrote for sports blog. 
And one of my articles, by the way, um, made it on Bleacher Report, and I'll tell you what it was. Um, it was the um, the breaking news about the debut of Charlotte Flair, Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, because I had a, a source that messaged me saying, oh, you do not want to miss Raw tonight. And I'm like, why? Uh, they're going to debut uh, Sasha, Sasha Banks. Of course, everyone knows Mercedes Monet and AEW. Uh, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. They're going to uh, revamp the women's uh, division. I was like, oh, snap. So I came in. I got the exclusive report in. And um, bam, I made over $4,000 on one article that day. And I, they also paid me to... Um, to go to Brooklyn for SummerSlam weekend two times, mind you. I went to Brooklyn to cover the SummerSlam. And for people asking me about WrestleMania, this is not my first time I've ever attended WrestleMania. Um, I attended WrestleMania in Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, everybody knows that was one of the worst WrestleManias. Famously, that was the one with uh, Bam Bam Bigelow and Lawrence Taylor, if y'all remember that. And then WrestleMania 14, I went to that as well. That was the... Um, I went to... Uh, I went to WrestleMania uh, a few years ago when it was in New York. Uh, not the... F <clears throat> Not WrestleMania 20, um, and certainly not the WrestleMania where um, there was CM Punk against Undertaker, and I did get uh, a high strike right there. Oh, that's a ah, that's a fly out. Um, I went to the WrestleMania in um, 30. The one in New Orleans, the Miracle on Bourbon Street. I was part of that history, seeing the uh, Undertaker getting his uh, streak broken. I didn't go to 31, Heist of the Century. I went to 32, the one in Dallas. Of course, everybody shitted on that WrestleMania. Uh, don't get me started on that. I went on... Uh, a lot of rants on that. Even the um, the go home show before WrestleMania, I went off on that. Nope. That's and so, with this being in Philly this year, I'm going. And I've also been to a couple of wrestling shows in Philly as well. Um. Mostly Ring of Honor and New Japan. When New, um, I'm with, um, hold on. When Ring of Honor was really in its prime, I was at, and really New Japan was really the uh, the promotion that people were talking about because they had a lot of them guys over there at that time, like Nakamura, Okada, the Bullet Club. You know, the Yum Bucks. Ah, oh, he got me. Fuck. So seeing that was really awesome. And the WrestleMania in Dallas was really pretty cool. Um, one of my favorite spots, and I'm a guy that loves American history, was actually seeing the spot where JFK got assassinated. And, you know, it just, like, fucking gives you the fucking creeps, man. Thinking about fucking American history. Um, thinking about what was one of the most darkest days. The last time a president has ever been assassinated and... All of that kind of shit. 
I mean, the food was pretty good over there. You know, the barbecue and shit. You gotta love it. That stadium, uh, AT&T Stadium, it, that is a fucking beauty over there. It's like fucking... I'm so glad I got to see that stadium. Even though I want to go see a Cowboys game one day over there. Hopefully it's an NFC Championship game. But... To see the Billion Dollar Palace... And then the history of it, the Dallas Cowboys, I mean, that's what you don't see with Jerry Jones. Like, Jerry Jones, man, doesn't respect the history of the Dallas Cowboys. When you look at what they've done, in, what they did in the 70s and stuff, with the Doomsday defense, with Tom Landry, um, all of them cats, Tony Dorsett, Roger Starbuck. And then, you know, in the 90s when they won them Super Bowls. And I have actually seen the Sky Dome in person too, by the way, for a lot of people, or the Rogers Center. Just to let y'all know, um, I'll tell you a good story about that. I have family members that live in Canada. They live in Toronto. So they're not far from uh, the Rogers Center. And I have seen Maple Leaf Square, which is where they used to do, or they still do it. The Hockey Night in Canada. They have the Blue Jay fans over there when you have a, a Blue Jays game on a Saturday night. It's a fucking madhouse down there. Down in Maple Leaf Square. Like, them fucking Blue Jay fans, us, or Maple Leaf fans, I should say. Ah, I swung at that too early. They are the most passionate fucking sports fans out there in Toronto. Um, I mean, it's a team that they have one of the longest Stanley Cup droughts. And one day, as a hockey fan, you want to see them lift that trophy. Because that team has been through hell and back. And really, their last championship that they've ever had in that city was the Raptors, not too long ago. Now right fielder, oh my god. It really depends who ha who's the best team going into that Super Bowl. Honestly, man, if that Super Bowl had happened in 2008... Cowboys and the Patriots, I would have gone with the Patriots because of the undefeated record. And if the Cowboys had won that game, you know, I would be happy. Home run. And it's against Nathan Avaldi. And I was actually fortunate enough to go um, to Gillette too uh, to see those two teams play a few years back. That game went into overtime. Um, that was actually, I believe, the first year Mac Jones was a quarterback. Really good uh, football game, too. I've been to, 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 I've been there several times. Um, 
It's a really good stadium. I could tell you that. I mean, I actually went to the old Foxborough Stadium uh, the last year um, that it was open to go see the New England Revolution play. And um, I could tell you, Gillette's easily one of the best stadiums out there. I mean, they got a Mickey D's up in there. They got a fucking, um, well, hold on. I've been to MetLife, um, for a couple of soccer games over there. Uh, MetLife's a pretty good stadium. I actually, I'm thinking of going there, too, for the World Cup. When that happens in two years, or uh, the the FIFA Club World Cup, which is um, they're gonna be introducing that, and in, um, next year if you're diehard into soccer, it's gonna be some of the uh, most popular soccer teams from around the world. It's really gonna be pretty cool. So I can't wait to go to that. To see that to see that friggin' uh that World Cup. That World Cup's gonna be that Club World Cup. Ooh, we got Vladdy. Ooh, I'm gonna sell him. Alright, let's see who we can sell. I need Yo, I'm so I gotta sell him. Let's see, I gotta get some perks, man. I think what we're gonna do I wanna get how much is this bat? Oh, we still don't have enough funds for that. How much would I sell this bat here? Hmm. I think I'm going to sell the Mickey. Oh, what is that? The Mickey Mantle? Yeah, I think I'm going to sell that one. I, I really don't need that. I want to see if I can get the Bryce Hopper. That's the one I see, and that's the one that has uh, it has more power into it. Mm-mm. All right, yeah, how much is this one? Yeah, this one kind of looks better. I can go with this. Let's see. I mean, it does upgrade my power a little bit. Hold on, how much is this one? All right. I kind of will think about that one. All right, this is it right here. This is the one I want. Bryce Hopper. Yeah, I didn't want to go with this one right here. It's a good bat. And I'm gonna buy now. I need to up. And let's see what we can get for bat. Let's see what we can get with uh, batting gloves. Or actually, socks. 
because my guy needs to run, dude. My guy needs to be like Michael Jordan and up in that shit. All right, let's see. Ah, we don't. Ah, shucks. Fuck. Ah, we're just a little bit closer. Um, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to uh, do some upgrades here. And this would actually be good. Hold on, what is it? MVP. Um. Okay. How much is this? Trout. Yeah, it's about seven, six thousand. All right, here we go. This is what we could go with. How much is this one? Nah, we don't need that one yet. I'm going to go with... Because I need speed here. Legend and the Cleat. So I'm going to go with this one right here. There we go. And then I'll... Pr Go back to my player. So as I was saying, yes, I have been to MetLife. Um, it's a lot of good stadiums that we... Alright, I'm going to use the Bryce... Alright. I'm going to use Bryce Hopper, man. I got to use the Bryce Hopper. It's pretty much the contact's not that good with this. It's a little bit down. It's a little bit of a setback, but this guy hits for power. He doesn't. That's what he does. Okay, cleats. We'll get some better cleats for you in the future. And then uh, the ritual. We got the legend in the cleat. So our speed is really upgradable right now. Oh, we let's see what he does with the speed here in this game. So here we go. We're back playing, and we're gonna need that, especially with the postseason. And I do think they're coming out with more perks tomorrow. And here we go. Got the Bryce Hopper bat. Ah, and he hits a slider. Oh. All right, we're going to take the strike here. Ball, two and one. Oh, oh, nice. Maybe I am going to swing at this. Nope, 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 no way, Jose. And uh, let's play the next appearance. Ah. Here we go. There you go. Nice. Leading off of the Blue Jays, the third baseman, Michael Meyer. Oh, 
when he hits that. That better be gone. And that's a home run. That's number 29, I believe. Oh, it's 28. 425. That was a nice shot, too. Look at that. Bam! And caught me with the slider again. So Alice Minara is actually pitching really well here for us. Oh. Can't make that play. But we're up 6 nothing. And it looks like we're going to take the series too. Just made a um, nice connection with that. That's a ball. Oh! That's got to be gone. Yup. Liner. Holy shit. Two home runs in this game. That's number 29. Told you that bat was going to be good. Told you, y'all. Told ya. Two eighty two right there. Nice. And now we're going up against the Tampa Bay Rays in Tampa Bay. He's got the guns to do it. I think he's going to hit his 30th home run here in the series. It's in a dome. There's no wind. He's going to do it. And he's got a hit. Nah, I'm not going to steal. Here we go. Ball just inside. Now that pitch was outside, two and oh. Up, grounded it to uh. Second. The batter, number one. Yeah, and Tampa Bay is actually wearing the old uniforms. You know, one of the, uh, I think that was their original uniforms when they were the Devil Rays. There you go. Nice bang bang play right there. Well, I'll say one thing is he doesn't need an upgrade to his glove. He just needs an upgrade to his hidden. Yep, I'm not going to make that. No way. Now that third base, Michael Meyer. Oh. Took a little bit of a hack on that one.
And that's a foul. Should have been two and one. Ah, uh, fouls it back again. First base side, probably. Ooh. Oh, why did I go for that? Ah, that slider, man. That always gets me, that slider. Bang, bang. Oh, I swung too early at that. Whoa. Could that be 30? Nope, nope, nope. It's too... Didn't get any carry to it. I wish it did. I wish I had a couple of more. Yep, now I'm in the hole. Ah, uh, not gonna go. Oh, that's way too high. Yep, I'm not gonna uh, get teased with that slider again. And he walks. Nice plate discipline right there. Damn it. How'd you strike out right there? And there we go, we won the game. Nice performance, I think we could have done better. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Okay. Thought I had some kind of breaking news here. So let's see where we are now in the standings. Yeah, we definitely got one of the, uh, yeah, we're definitely in it. Yeah, we definitely got one of them playoff spots them top twos and I'm happy about that Here we go. Let's go to the next game. So, really, almost done with the season here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to sim the final week of the season. And then we're just going to get to the playoffs. Fuck it. 
I want to get into playoffs. Because October, you know what that means. Rage mode. Leading off to Toronto, the third baseman, Michael Meyer. And I follow that one out. Oh, I broke my bat, my new bat. The frig. The fudge. And that was an expensive bat, too. So this will be the last game when it comes to regular season play for us because we're just going to sim. I know we got the um, one of the top two spots. And we're going to go into the postseason. Oh, you hit me. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, when you hit me, you know what happens. Rage mode. Oh, rage mode has just came out. Yeah, you just hit. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, now this is going to be bad. And now he just got his 30th home run of the year. And he's already doing it as a rookie. And it's 425. No big surprise. So when you hit Michael Myers, you unleash the beast. And he's going to hit another one. Gone. That's number 31. That's got to be 429. 431 maybe. Oh, 391. So Michael Myers has just already proven that um, he's going to be the rookie of the year. And he got called up in June. And there's another one. Go on, go two, go two, go two, go two. Oh, that went off the wall. Dang. And he makes it in time. 13th double of the season for Michael Myers. See what happens here. Oh, man, that hit the... um. Steel, steel, steel. All right. Uh oh, okay. I kind of mistimed that a little bit. I thought that was going to be a fly out. But he will get the run. And we win. Michael Myers had two home runs. Another two run homer day. It was three for four. So let's just sim the rest of the week here and then let's get to the postseason. Let's do that. Yeah, we got yeah, Tampa Bay, Boston. I think we're gonna sim through let's sim the season. Fuck it. Uh we had a little bit of a losing streak, so let's um Yeah, let's get in talk contact. Let's do that. So we are in the postseason. Let's look at the awards because they actually do give us the awards. 
And uh, let's look at him. So Alvarez is going to be the rookie. Uh, he's going to be the MVP this year with 46 home runs. He beats Shohei Otani. Jacob DeGrom is going to win the Cy Young. Evan Carter becomes the winner of the batting title. Eric Swanson becomes your closer of the year. And yours truly is rookie of the year. Finishes up with 32 home runs. Evan Carter finishes second. Austin Wells from the Yankees finishes at third. Uh, let's see if we become... We're not a gold glove, that's for sure. But let's see if we get the um, the silver slugger. No, we don't. Damn shame, too, because we should have had that. So we got our first... Um, so we get that extra bonus, by the way. If you all know that. That's what happens with uh, Major League Baseball now. If you uh, become the rookie of the year, you get a bonus. Oh, he's going to get plenty of um, strength training, Michael Myers. So here we go. We're going to be... Ooh, we're going to be playing Cleveland. All right, we're going to be playing them in uh, game one. And here we go. If you're just joining us, we're in the postseason. We're in the divisional series. And uh, they were playing Old Canada. And here we go. We are down 3 nothing. And here we go. And here he is, Michael Myers, batted 314, batted 314 in the regular season. And he hits a home, no, it's going to be a foul. Damn. And let's see that, ah, he's out. Uh oh, oh, rage. Well, he's already in rage mode, so we all know that. And he just hits his first postseason home run, and it's a grand slam. And the fans in Toronto are going nuts. I can already tell Maple Leaf Square is freaking going zonkers. Yes, he got the out. Oh, he gets a base hit. Let's see if he can steal the base here. He wants to steal bases. Uh-oh. He better make it the first. He better make it there quick. Yep. He did. Yep. Brian Cash Clown and Aaron Buffoon. The two biggest clowns. There you go, with the O-U-T out.
And let's see, he hits this one. This better be gone. Oh, he's it's out. Uh oh, this game's tied. Nice throw. Uh oh. I think we're in the top of the ninth. There you go with the out. Uh oh. This could be it right here. And he does it! Game winning 3 1 blast! 4.57 and the fans in Toronto are going bananas remember dude it's October and what happens in October Michael Myers goes on his rage. He goes on his killing spree. And but he can't kill anybody. He's gotta kill baseballs. That's what he's gotta do, man. Just like Friday the thirteenth, Jason. What does Jason like to do? He likes to kill camp counselors, right? Likes to kill kill campers. That go into his wilderness. That's what Michael Myers is doing. He's killing balls in his wilderness. I want to see who's in the postseason. Let's see. I think you can check it here. Ooh. Wow, the Yankees got swept by the Rangers. Oh, that's no big surprise because they freaking suck. Because the Rangers fucking are better than the Yankees. And the Yankees had no pitching. I bet you that's what, uh, in the video game world, right? If we had to do the Michael K show, Michael K would say, the Yankees pitcher wasn't just there. They had no pitching. They had to change all their pitchers this year. Juan Soto is Juan Soto. Oh, I think I hit that over. Oh, four fifty dead center. And now you're looking at the new star in the American League, and his name is Michael Myers. You have a serial killer that killed his sister and killed a bunch of babysitters on Halloween night back in 1978 and he was in a he was frozen it's Miss Gross Sanitarium and I just hit it right where um, Aaron Judge if you remember last year where he hit that home run in Toronto That's who everybody's going to be watching in the post. That's who every baseball fan is going to watch in October. They're going to watch a serial killer. And that serial killer right now is hitting home runs. Three eighty-three. Let's see what they do when they make it to the championship series. Find the ball, find go the ball. to, go to. That's what we're going to do. Yep, and we... Ah, uh, we got the out. 
Nice hustle, though. There you go. Now that the third baseman, Michael Meyer. And he hits another home run. Oh, that that's gotta be four forty. I was gonna say four forty two on that. And the fans in Toronto are loving this guy. The Hattonfield Boogeyman. Yeah, of course. You know. I know I've, I would have ranted if the Yankees got swept by the Rangers in the wild card. I would call that mediocre, trash, garbage. And it looks like we might be playing the Houston Astros. Oh, and this is his first time in... I think this is his first time in Cleveland. Oh, but he follows it. Yeah, I think he didn't get... Oh, no, I don't think he's going to go easy on the Astros. Oh, he won't. Michael Myers doesn't go easy on anybody. There you go. You got the out. And Alex Manoia is happy. Ah, oh, gets a base hit though. I wanted that to be a home run right there, but hey, is what it is. It. He's gonna go back to first. The bat. Three, three. Out, out, got three. Three. All right, here we go. and out. Fuck. But we swept the Guardians. And we're going to the championship series. So who are the Blue Jays going to play? Oh, they're going to play the Rangers. Wow, Houston got eliminated. So now the Blue Jays um, 
they got the home field advantage throughout the uh the postseason, I bet. Uh probably in the American League, more than likely because um The Dodgers are probably the best team in baseball. And they're down three nothing. Oh. That ball uh, ricocheted on me. And oh, drives it right into the gap for the base hit. Well, he's not going to steal here. Michael Myers will not steal. But he will watch. And that's going to be a two run homer. But uh, Danny, uh, Danny Jensen. And that's another base hit. All right, now I'm going to try to steal. Now I'm going to try it. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, he got me. All right, let's see if I can make this. I need to get a home run here. And I foul it back. Could that be? Could that be? That's a base hit. I ain't going to do nothing. But, yeah, it's just going to give us a run. But Jensen, he already hit a home run earlier in the game, and he strikes out. Oh. Oh, yeah, we're in trouble now. We might lose our first game of the postseason. Ah, uh, let's see. Next appearance, fuck it. We've already lost the game anyways, so... Texas is up one nothing on us. And I do think we're going to have a little bit of a grunge series here. Motherfuckers. To battle. And here we go. Same lineup. Here we go, batting 647. And he hits a home run. That's the six of this postseason.
Yeah, we're losing. Three to one. There you go. And we got Adolis Garcia. I bet, I bet Michael Myers is like, yo, you better, we better be doing something out here, man. And, um, they got runners on first and second with nobody out, so maybe Michael Myers could do something. And it's an out. Oh, it's a double play. And he... See what he can do here with this rage. I think he's going to want to hit a home run. Even though they are losing the game 6-2. to two. And he hits a, gets a hit. Made it to second, though. Alright, here we go. Oh, I can make something out of this. I want to get this uh, three-run shot. Yes, he does it. Three run homer. Blue Jays still got a chance. But the Rangers win the game. And Texas got the uh the home field advantage right now. They after stealing those two games. So now we're in big trouble. Just wish we had our uh, Boba Shets in there. But we're in Texas. Now and hopefully we can change this around. And we're going up against Nathan Avaldi. Go figure. There we go. Got the out. It's a home run. Eight home run of the postseason. Like he needed that one. Base hit. Hey, way to swing the bat. Nice rip. 
Yeah, I'm going to try to steal here. No, 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 no. Couldn't really do anything over there. Yeah, I'm not even going to steal third. Fuck it. Yes! Uh-oh! Here we go! This could be right here. This could change the series. And he hits a Grand Slam! And the Blue Jays are still alive! You can try to kill the Blue Jays, but you cannot do it. As long as Michael Myers is playing for the team. And here we go. Let's see the National League. What's that? Oh! Philly and Atlanta? Wow! Holy shit! Philly and Atlanta in the championship series. Wow! The Dodgers didn't even make it. Holy crap! That's what's fun about October baseball, man. That's what's fun about it, dude. Anything could happen. Now that center fielder, Lee Hody. At least we're not getting Arizona and Texas here again. And here we go. I think this is going to be an out. Where are we? I think we're in the later innings. Oh, why? Shit. Yeah, we're, we're hurting, man. We are hurting now. Yeah, we lose this game, man. Uh, we're in danger. We got to win at least. We got to win three straight. Can it happen? I don't know. And I don't think it's going to happen here. Texas beat us. So we're one game away from elimination. Oh, we got a dynamic perk, though. Let's see what this is about. All right, here we go. The most important game for the Blue Jays. This is a win or go home. That is cool. The third baseman. Michael Meyer. And 
and I hope that's a home run. Oh, it's a base hit. Woohoo! That's one run. Oh, he's out. Got Guerrero out. Yup, it looks like our season's over. Our season is done. Over. It's a wrap. And they're getting into him. But here's the thing, though. I don't know, man. I don't think we can come back from six runs. And against the Grom, the Cy Young winner. Oh, and he hits a three-run shot. Maybe Toronto has life after all. 438. Bottom of the seventh. He's got to hit this two-run shot. No! Damn it! God fucking damn it, man! Bottom of the ninth. And yes, the Texas Rangers have won the Bennett. They are now your American League champions for the second straight year. And uh, Michael Myers, man. Uh, very good first season. He just doesn't get that World Series. But it's okay. Because we're going to sim to the postseason right now. Uh, let's see who won. Who won the... Uh, wow, the Rangers went back to back. They defeated the Phillies. I'm going to advance to the offseason. Let's see who retired. Um, okay, bunch of ham and eggers that I really don't know. I really don't care. Um, let's see who retired from the Red Sox. Uh, Tyler, uh, don't care. Could care two shits about him. Uh, let's see, you retired from the Astros since um, Cookie's in here. Ah, huh, nobody retired from the Astros. Who made the Hall of Fame? Nobody gets inducted into the Hall of Fame this year. Uh, I want to view the the contract offer. All right, I'm gonna s let's just sim through the off season. I know we're going to have a contract offer. Alright, so they're going to give us a one-year contract. He's only going to make $760,000. I don't know. That that really depends on Smith Grove. Uh, the winter meetings are happening. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go into January. All right. The, oh, they've renewed my contract for $760,000. You know what? We're going to send spring training. I really could care about spring training. Fuck it. I'm going to send spring training. Gonna look at our roster for the new season, the 2025 MLB season, which will be um, Michael Myers is uh, a f second official season because remember he won the Rookie of the Year, so that counts as a season. So let's see who is 
on our roster this year. Um, wow, we got Corbin Burns? Sweet. So, Corbin Burns is going to be part of the Toronto Blue Jays. Eric Swanson. Uh, I know he's going to be the closer. Oh, we got Chad Green, but he's in AAA. I know who he is. He's with the Yankees. Uh, closing pitcher. Uh, we got Alejandro Kirk. Vladimir Guerrero, he's back. Uh, we got Nico Humser. Michael Myers right there playing third base. Bo Bichette's back. Um, we got Josh Springer back. Oh, Chris Bryant. Oh, he's with the team. I want to see who the Yankees have. I just want to be, like, really, really want to see that. Okay, let's see who the Yankees have. They got Garrett Cole. Uh, they got Bryce Miller. Oh, Carlos Rodon is back as their starting pitcher. Um, he's going to be in the five spot. Clock Smith looks like he's going to get the six. Clayton Beaters in um, AAA. Who's their new closer? Um, they really don't have a closer. Oh, shit. <laughs> Trevino. Wow, Austin Wells is in AAA? Ben Rovit is in friggin' Paul Goldschmidt. Oh, so they got Paul Goldschmidt, the Yankees. Anthony Rizzo is back with the Yankees. Uh, Gleyber Torres is not with them. I'm assuming DJ LeMahieu's with them. Wow, they traded Volpe. You got to typical, let me tell you all, typical New York Yankees. Connor, who the hell is Connor Joe? Connor Cotton Eye Joe. Aaron Judge. Oh, they got Pereira. Wow, they don't even have Juan Soto. I got to look out where Juan Soto is. Where the fuck did Juan Soto go? I just, I'm fucking curious. He's not with the Rays. He's not with the Red Sox. He's not with the White Sox, that's for sure. Alex Verdugo. Oh, Alex Verdugo went to the Royals? You gotta be fucking kidding me. If I'm going to take a guess, he's he's in the fucking National League. He's not with Texas. I know that. Let's see. Is he with the Mets? Nope. He's not with the Mets. Wow, Joey Gallo still playing. Ian Cap, Ian Hab. I gotta know where this dude is playing. I gotta find out. Oh. Oh, Jacob Stanton's with the Yankees still. I know you can look up these players. Like, how do you fucking look them up? He's with the Marlins. Holy shit. Juan Soto's with the fucking Marlins. Wow. Just imagine. People for a moment. I gotta see where Glaber is.
I swear, if Glaber's with another team, man, uh, I'm going to say he's with the Angels. No, oh, he's with the Phillies. All right. He went Philadelphia. So that just tells you typical Yankees, typical cheap ass Yankees. And uh, we open up our season against the Houston Astros. So I'm batting. It looks like I'm batting seventh after I was hitting cleanup all year. And it is opening day, folks, in Toronto. <laughs> That's funny, though. That is so fucking funny. How in the fuck? <laughs> How in the fuck did Juan Soto go to the Marlins? Mmm, <laughs> and I followed that one off. Oh! And I bet the Yankees are going to be fucking trash <laughs> this season. All right. Good eye right there. Two and two. Who knows? I might have to go to the Yankees and be the savior. Base hit right up the, uh, found the hole. Uh oh. Ah, uh, he got me. I kind of made that stupid play. I mean, he misplayed that. Uh, now we're in the hole. All right, here we go. One for one. Why did I even go for that sinker? Ball one. And, that, and like I said, that you know, if they do trade Anthony Volpe next offseason, that's typical Yankees. You know that. So they actually, MLB The Show is actually right. They got the Yankees cheap. Yep, it's looking like I'm having a bad opening day. But hey, at least the Blue Jays are up by three runs. Oh. 
All right, we're not even going to take a swing at that one. All right, that pitch was inside, well, outside the strike zone. Oh, nice play. Oh, nice hustle. Myers with the nice hustle right there. I like that. Maybe he was working on that in the off season. Get a little better with the speed. go playing that gold glove defense two and oh two and oh is the count Oh, I followed that one off. Ball, that's too high. Oh, and he hits his first home run of the season. There you go. And I think that is your favorite for the uh, MVP this year, Michael Myers. You heard it here first. I think he's going to win the MVP this year. He's going to be the youngest MVP in this modern baseball era. And they do win. So, what a great opening day for the Hattonfield Boogeyman. So, what a great opening day for the Hattonfield Boogeyman. Hold up. Let me see. What did I get there? Oh, 246. That's not bad. Right, I want to see where Volpe went. Let's go to the roster quick. That's another name I'm curious. Well, he didn't go to the Red Sox. How how in the fuck do you trade fucking Ant uh, Anthony Volpe in this game? Uh, Correa's with the Twins, so that that can't be. Oh, he went to Seattle. You've got to be kidding me. You fucking bought this dude to Seattle. You traded him to Seattle for what? I, I gotta see that. I gotta see the transactions. Seriously, dude. I gotta see that. How in the fuck do you bring that dude, trade him to fucking Seattle? These guys are fucking degenerates. It had to be a trade. It had to be a trade. 
let's see Soto's uh, contract history. I gotta see it. How? I swear, it better be fucking five hundred mil. He got. Wow, they don't even go with Khan. Really? All right, here we go. They don't even mention contracts in this game. Hmm. That's very interesting. All right, so let's see what we need to work on. Yeah, we're going to have to focus on our speed. Here we go. Um, I'm batting fifth now. So... I'm protecting uh, Vlad Guerrero here. Leading up for the Jays, the third baseman, Michael Meyer. And I'm leading off in the bottom half of the second. And that's a strike. I follow off on that one. Good hit. And I gotta say, really good pitch. It hung in there. But it just really didn't get the bat where you want to get those home runs. Up next to the blue the third baseman, Michael Mario. And that's a strike. Ah, oh, I followed off another one. Up. Oh. Oh. Close the ball. Oh. oh, I thought it was a strikeout for a moment. All right, that's got to be that. Please let it be a home run. Yes. Second homer of the year. And I I knew it was going to be because uh, it was just right there, middle of the plate. I got the power. Bam. That's a home run. So hitting back-to-back -back home runs. Let me see that again. Now that second base, Jose Altuve. There you go. Nice throw to first, too. Literally, I got like a freaking hot zone here. 
I've like dominated right hand pitching. Oh, not the fucking best. Oh, that was a slow roller, man. Why did I fucking hit that? I really don't get that. And that was on a slider too. Wow, Justin Verlaine is a relief pitcher? Holy shit. Base hit. All right, they're telling me to steal. Let's see if this, the speed works. I don't think so. Oh, he's got his first stolen base of the year. And first stolen base of his MLB career. He's been trying so hard to get that st uh, first steal. And that actually did uh, deflect off of... Had to be... Uh, Pena or Altuve? Bang, bang, and we win. Wow, 437. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they got us batting uh, in the five spot. So you got your cleanup hitters, man. Your, your two for, through five is your dangerous lineup. That's, that's a beast mode team right there. If you have a two through five... That is freaking dangerous. That's a World Series team. And I know the reason why we lost to the Rangers in those five games was because we didn't have Boba Shat. And it's rage mode right now for Michael Myers. I think he could go another home run in this game. I really do. And he hits a grand slam. The way that this dude is playing right now, I got to say he's probably going to get 162 home runs this season. He's going to do it. I think he could do... Oh, I'm breaking Judge's record. Oh, I'm breaking Aaron Judge's friggin' record, and then I'm breaking Bonds' record. Fuck that shit, man. There you go. Nice uh, bang bang play right there. Now Third baseman. My goal. My goal. And that's a hit. Come on, dig. Go I'm going to go for the double. Dig, dig, dig. There you go. First double of the year for uh, Michael Myers. Nah, I think we're just going to play the next appearance. I want to go like friggin... 
I want this team to win like 116 games. 120. That would be fucking sick. Here we go. Two for three. I follow the back. Oh, uh, why did I go? Three. Ah, fudge. Not happy with that. I was not happy with that. But, hey, we did win the game. Like, we did sweep the Astros. We had played them in the uh, postseason. We probably would have beaten them. And now we're going to be playing the Detroit Tigers. How long have you been playing this game for? I think... I think this is going to be the last series of the night. And then after that, uh, and then we're going to end it right there for the night. Ah, could not even make the throw. Bad fucking play right there. No, we're not going to rant here, dude. Well, at least he didn't do anything stupid today, EDP. So I really can't rant on him. Alright, base hit. Good, 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 good. Nah, I don't want to. Three run homer. Oh, yeah. We in control now. We in control. Who knows? I could be playing this game all night. There you go. Should I swing at this one? Let's see. Nah. That was a call strike right there. If that was middle of the plate, I would have gone for it. But. Nah. Nah. That's where I would have gone for it, right there. That's a goner. <laughs> That's how you do it. You work the count on the 3-2 and bam. Hit the home run on the payoff pitch. There, every single game that he has played in. This season, he has hit a home run. Hence why I believe he's going to go 162 this year. He is just unstoppable. 
I think he's mad. They got eliminated to the Rangers in five games. And another hit. Wow. Yeah, I think I want to steal again. No. Well, we just started the new season, so this is our fourth game of the season, of the 2025 season. Yeah, that was a really bad jump. I got caught off guard on that one. No, you didn't. That was on my end. Chopped it. Yeah, that's going to be an out. And we lost. So, yeah, they're putting us in uh, the cleanup spot. Well, why not? I mean, look at look at my freaking batting average. I've been going fucking beast mode. Batting four. The third baseman. Michael. Meyer. They had me batting, what, seventh on opening day? Hey, the new baseball bat and the new stance has been doing wonders. Nope. Outside. I think that's helped my game. And I follow that one out. Two and two. Had a feeling they were going to call that for a strike. Three, two. Three and two. Count is full. Mm -hmm. Ah, why did I go for that? Babe Ruth. I mean, I've been so successful with Babe Ruth, uh, with using him. So I figured I'd try it out, and um, it's worked. I'm very comfortable with Babe Ruth. Oh, foul that off too. Yep, yeah, and I chopped that to third base. Oh boy. 
We started the season good and pfft, we're down two runs. Ah, I follow that too, slider. Yep, and I got a piece of it, but grounded second. Ah, thank you. Here we go with the out. All right, bottom of the eighth. We got a left-hander going. First time going up against a left-hander this year. Strike. Looks like my streak could be ending here. Ah, oh, come on. Follow that off. And then he follows it again on the slider. One ball, two strikes. Yeah, I'm not going to bite on that one. Yeah, my conscience was telling me to swing at that, too. Thank God I held up. Oh, didn't hold up this time. But you got a good pitching battle over here, though. This will be the ninth pitch. Why did I fucking go for that? Why? Fuck. Yeah, we gotta win the series now. Well, we can't win the series. We gotta win the next game. Two Ks. Oh, then we go on the road against the Brewers. Alright, so we're going up against a lefty. And they're also three and two, too. Wow. Uh oh. Ah, oh, I didn't get a good. Oh, he's safe. Wow. Chopper. It was a slow chopper. See that play again. Wow. And he makes it. Wow. What a good play, though. I'm running that shit. Here we go. I try to steal it. Well, if he didn't have the speed, 
that speed like what he has now compared to what he had in the minors, he would have been out. All right, we got bases loaded. All right, double play, but we got the run in on the four six three. Wow, we're losing. So it might have to play until we win. And he gets a grounder to short. Nice play right there. Two for two. And you got Vlad Guerrero up. Fielder's choice. Strike. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, see if I can uh, work a walk here. Foul it off. Count is full. Yep, yep, yep. Well, let's just let's just survive our Wednesday first. That's what I would do. I would survive Wednesday. Uh, I'm gonna say it. Pff, our season's done, man. Our fucking season is done, dude. It's over. It's a wrap. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna fucking shit the bed. And that's a foul. hit circle change in that fucking shit like I found a hole and we lose we got swept go figure yep I do think we're gonna miss the playoffs this year there's, there's no fucking, there's no debate on it. That's why I always, th that's why this team don't excite me. And I get fucking called out by these fucking Cashman fucking cult followers and shit because of it. Like, y'all fucking, if you believe that this team is going to do something, like, really? You're fucking delusional. And I know I keep saying that. But that that's the fucking truth, dude. It is. You guys are like... Y'all need a fucking... Like, what the fuck do you... Like, do you guys have, like, fucking...
like contaminated water where you guys are from? He hasn't been on the he hasn't been on his show. The last two days he has not been on there. Whoa. Yeah, because um, I think he was in Mexico for that series. And I think the Yank I think some of the Yankees congregation arrived in Houston today. If he's not on a show tomorrow, he's not gonna be on Thursday. We know that. Ball four, inside. Yep, and I'm gonna walk on that one. Batting it. The right fielder, number four. But I'll tell you this right now. The New York sports scene. By the time you get into like the postseason, like in April with hockey and um, hockey and basketball, they, the Yankees are going to be like fucking in the back burner. Nobody's going to want to care about the Yankees. Shit, why didn't I? What a waste. Oh, we're up 9 nothing on Milwaukee. Holy shit. Beating up these motherfuckers. Holy crap. I follow that one. Oh, what the frig? Damn it. I might as well play till I can get a hit. Yep. Well, that's kind of me being desperate for a hit right here. Okay, three and one. Damn, why? 101 on that fastball. Shit. My goodness. But I walk. All right, we'll take the walk. 
They want me to steal? Okay. Nice stolen base right there. All right. How we do it? Second stolen base of the year. time it is you know what he's here for it's time it's he's got his rage in Milwaukee I think we'll end with that on a high note let's see if that's staying in the park yeah we'll, we'll play another one Oh, oh, it was a Grand Slam? All right. I'll take that. I thought that shit was out. 409. <laughs> so we win. 15 nothing. Wow, we fucking... Nail that shit. So, yeah, let me... We had that on a high note. All right. You know, uh, let me talk about that. I think we're just going to hang out here since I'm done playing. Cause my freaking, oh, I started to get fucking sore, man. My fucking workout that I did today at the gym, um, seventy three wins the Yankees this year. Honestly, like I said, I think the team's gonna be in last place this year. Um, I, I said this in my rant today, my rant video about the Yankees, and I'm like. You know what? It's the same shit that I see with this team every fucking year with them, you know? They ain't gonna do shit this year. They, they're not. But I got all these fucking booger eaters out there that say, Oh yeah, they are uh, happy to your team. Happy in what, man? Seriously, have fucking faith in what? But I, I, I'll say this though: if this team sucks by the time we're in mid-May, I'm out. And they're ten games down in first place. I ain't watching that fucking shit. I ain't watching that shit. And thank God I got my free MLB. And thank God I got my free MLB TV. Because I'm not paying for fucking um, $29.99 a month of, of my hard-earned money to fucking watch a team fucking don't care about their fans. Seriously. Like, right now, the big... It's so funny, too, because... The biggest story, the last few years that I've been on YouTube, that I've been doing Yankee content, the last few years, 2021, was when EDP got caught by the Predator Approachers. I didn't do a lot of Yankee videos that time. I fucking did stuff on EDP because EDP was the big story. 2022. Um, sure, the, the Yankees had a great 2022. That was a fun team to watch. Aaron Judge, 2023, Yankees sucked. What was the big story? Like, 2023, EDP got caught again. 
EDP talked to fucking um, one chick, got catfished, and then uh, talked to another teenager. What's going to be the big story I'm going to be focusing on this year? Fucking, um, watch, it's going to be Otani. Why do I fucking care about the Yankees? Seriously, why do I fucking care about the Yankees? If they ain't going to do shit. All I'm going to do is freaking scream at a computer. And rant. And then people are going to come after me. And they're going to be like, oh yeah, he's a fake fan. Like, shut the fuck up, people. Shut the fuck up. You don't even, you don't even walk a mile in my pinstripes. That's why I created... The venue, the Messiah Tavern in my mother's basement, because of all these freaking geeks out there in the community. You know, they can suck my balls, man. They can fucking toss, you know, toss my salad. Whatever, man, you know. And I know I'm going on a ramp. I know I'm going on. Well, I, if Cookies is still in here, he knows. Oh, we got a nice debate up in here. I think I want to stay in for this shit. Yo, I want to stay in, yo. See, if AEW Collision was not on on Saturday nights, I would be bringing in that uh, Yankees fight night that I wanted to uh, bring in. You know, you know what they say, Saturday night's all right for a fight, right? I think we got ourselves a little bit of a fight night here. Now, Bobby and Michael, save the debate for Thursday. Well, Michael's got a point here. I mean, I've said this about Michael K. That Michael K., um... Comes out with the biggest Yankee propaganda. Now, Bobby, the guy has plagiarized me too. And I have proof of that. Anybody that has been a subscriber to this channel knows that Michael K has plagiarized me. And not only that, he's plagiarized other content creators. He's plagiarized P. Seminetti. He's uh, plagiarized Bad Dog. And I have proof of that. And I live here, I live in New England. I live about, what, 90 miles from New York City. I mean, I wish I had, uh... Oh, he's called me out too. He's... See... This is why last year, and everybody knows this, they know, they know my track record. I have called out many people in the media. I have called out Michael K. numerous times because he called me a fucking, that I live in my mama's basement. And he even said it on his radio show. They know who I am. They know who I am. They know. Why do you think. Why do you think this fucking what? Fucking Donald Grecker. Fucking mentioned. Amiga movement. The fire cashman night. Which by the way. Which by the way was organized. By me. The Amiga movement. 
They knew about this shit. And yet, he had the fucking balls to call me out on his radio show. Calling me a freaking uh, a conservative fucking fake news. Calling me Alex Jones. This shit's true, man. He called me fucking the Yankees version of Alex Jones because you know Alex Jones puts out a lot of fucking propaganda out there. A lot of diehard conservative um, propaganda. And he called, he had the fucking balls to call me out. So I called him out. Said that. And this is what I said. And I quote. If I had taken his radio spot. And went up against him. I would be the highest rated Yankee radio talk show host. I would beat that dude in the ratings. <clears throat> so yeah. You want to call me freaking conservative. You want to call me Donald Trump. I am the Donald Trump of the fan base. I am the Donald Trump of this freaking Yankees community. <clears throat> because I cannot stand fucking fake news motherfuckers out there like Michael K, like friggin' Brandon Courtney, Brian Hulk. I can't because all they do is put out freaking propaganda. And it's the same thing in the wrestling world with Meltzer. Oh, I've had a beef with Meltzer for a long time. Because Meltzer took down my channel. Yes, he did. The first time around. I lost my original channel because of Dave Meltzer. Oh yeah, Joe Sherman's another fake news guy. He's All of these guys that write... I I heard. I heard. I hear everything. But you know what? This is why I am a content creator. Because I want to give you guys the real shit. You know, listen. That, that's what you got to do, guys. Listen to content creators. Listen to guys, like, I'll tell you in the wrestling side of spec, the wrestling side of things. Listen to a guy like JD from NY. JD from NY is right about everything. Why do you think he built his channel? Why do you think he built his fan base? Because people wanted to see a revolution in W. They wanted to see changes in WWE they wanted to see a revolution that's why they rebelled that's why JD did it and guess what what's happening there's changes in WWE because of that that's why I created my channel because I want to see changes I've been on this shit for five fucking years man five years and every day, I go on fucking rants. Every single day, I will rant about this team. And you know what? You can call me a fake fan. You can call me that I'm fucking EDP 2.0. Which, by the way, do not, do not compare me to a fucking pedophile. You know, I, I got to talk about that. I might save that for one of my wrestling discussions later in the week when I do the wrestling. Um, when I give you the news and views on professional wrestling. But um, uh, I will say it like this. Um, this is just my theory. I, I'm going to be listening to uh, JD and Andrew Bay Dalla tomorrow. When I go to the gym. See. Like. I, I, it really depends. Then let me get to your question Bobby. I'll get to it quick. I'm I'm going to stay on here for a couple of more minutes. Um, 
I think they are doing that because it is WrestleMania season. And WrestleMania season, that tends to be where you want to get the most, um, like, the most people to watch a product. Um, I understand, you know, Rock's there, you know, he's part of the board. But the thing is... I think this is just for Wrestle. My guess is this is just for WrestleMania season. And um, by the way, I am going to say this too. Anyone that thinks Cody Rhodes is losing that match at WrestleMania, you guys are freaking brain dead. Seriously, you guys are brain dead. If you saw the veritable, they showed last night on Monday Night Raw with John Cena and Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm telling you this right now. Both of those guys are going to be at WrestleMania. And I talked about that too Friday. Remember that. Watch my video. Cena and Stone Cold are going to be there. Because. Oh, they got a lot of things that they can do with that. They can have fucking. I think what's going to happen. I think they're going with Cody versus The Rock. I have to say that. I don't think they will do it in Saudi. Yes. Undertaker too. I've heard that. Um, but I think he might be there for the Hall of Fame weekend. But it's really going to be interesting to see who inducts Heyman into the Hall of Fame. It could be Steve Austin. Because Paul Heyman gave Steve Austin a job in ECW. Could be John Cena. Could be The Undertaker. That match right there, night two with Roman and Cody, that is going to be the most overbooked match. I'm telling you that right now. But they're going to fucking try to do it with a lot of these fucking guys down there. And, and for anyone that thinks Seth Rollins is going to turn on Cody... Like I said, y'all dead wrong on that. You all are freaking... You got the fucking IQ of the size of a pencil eraser. If you believe in that shit. I'm telling you all that right now. They're doing something really big that second night. Cena, Stone Cold's gonna be there and Cody's gonna win that match. Oh, yeah. That's what's going to happen. And then you're going to have Rollins come in, Jay Uso, um, Sami Zayn, because Sami Zayn, it, it's really going to be. And my original thinking on how you book this rivalry, this bloodline thing, it, my original idea was to have Roman Reigns win that match. And then um, you set up. Rock versus Cody at SummerSlam. You have a big summer program with the bloodline in the WWE. Where it's like a, a power struggle. Triple H, he's going to represent the WWE guys. The Rock's going to represent the bloodline. It becomes this whole fucking blood uh, power struggle thing. Then you go into Survivor Series. This is my interesting match for Survivor Series. You're going to love this, people. Bloodline. Solo Sequoia. Jay Uso. I mean, Jimmy Uso. Roman Reigns. And, um, of course, you know, there's a big rumor going around that um, Tamatonga is going to the WWE. Now... That's how Cody Rose loses that match at WrestleMania. Is a new Bloodline member. And his name is uh, Tamatonga. I put him in that match. Against. Cody Rhodes. Jay Uso. Seth Rollins. Your fourth guy. CM Punk. Because Roman had. Uh, mentioned CM Punk on Pat McAfee's show. In war games, 
winner take all. Kind of like a mirage of what they did in 2001 with the War Games match. I mean, with the Survivor Series match. The traditional Survivor Series rules match. That's how you do it. Whoever wins that match gets power in WWE. Bloodline loses it. Then you start the other part of the story. Rock, Roman, WrestleMania. Night 2. I wouldn't put it for the title. No way. You know how I do it? Night 1. Have Roman go up against... Um, oh, you can actually do that for Night 1. Uh, for the title. You can have... Rock versus Roman... Title versus uh, title and whoever wins that match is the tribal chief. And then night two, you have the Royal Rumble winner go up against Roman Reigns. That's what I would do. He'll come back as a face because he's loyal WWE. He's loyal to the WWE. I don't see him joining the bloodline. No way. That's how you end your story next year in Minneapolis. But I get the fact that a lot of people want to see. And also, too, I want to point that out. I want to point this out. And I and I want to say it, too, because um, you got to look for this veritable right here. Another person that could show up at WrestleMania this year. Sylvester Stallone. He could get involved in that match. I'm not ruling that out. Why? Think about it for a moment. Put it in the chat why you think Sylvester Stallone will be part of that match. I want to get your thoughts. A lot of people still talking about it. Wow. Nope. I'll give you a couple of more minutes. Why do you think he will be in Philly, Sylvester Stallone? And I'm not going to give any hints. I'll give you guys two more minutes. Wow, you guys don't even know this. That's what they're going with, Michael. Wow. I'm surprised by this. You guys don't know why Sylvester Stallone would be in Philly for WrestleMania. Wow. Once this hits 107 on my, um, well, Mike, you get a little bit, uh, warmer there with Sylvester Stallone. Think Michael could get this one. All right. Any uh, last takes on it? Nope, 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 nope. All right. So I might as well give it to you guys. 
when you think of Philly and you think of Sylvester Stallone, yes, you think of a movie. But Sylvester Stallone, what is he famous for? Playing one of the most iconic characters in movie history. And this is why I kind of feel like this goes into the Cody Rhodes story. Exactly. Rocky. They're going to give Cody Rhodes that Rocky moment. I'm telling you. Because if you remember, in the Rocky movies, what happened? Rocky lost to Apollo Creed the first time, right? And what happened the second time? Rocky defeated Apollo Creed. What do you go with this time in wrestling? Roman Roman beat uh, Cody the first time around. And then the second time around in Philly, it's not going to be in the spectrum. It's going to be at Lincoln Financial Field. You're going to have Cody beat Roman and have that rocky moment. That's what they're doing right there. That's what WWE is doing right there. They are putting so many adversities into Cody. Yeah. They're putting so much adversity into Cody Rhodes' story. Just like what they did in Rocky and Rocky 2. And I was watching Rocky 2 the other day. Because remember, it, while Rocky was training, what happened? Adrian was in the coma, right? She had Rocky Jr. That was one of the adversities. Now you're having this whole bloodline becoming the adversity of Cody Rhodes. And yeah, that's what they're doing too. This whole infinity. That's what it is. It's going to be a civil war. It's going to be, like I said, Team WWE. And they're going to go up against the bloodline. I don't see The Undertaker coming back, Michael. I um, yes, it's in Philly this year, which, which is why I'm going to that WrestleMania. Um, it, it really, dep- well, the thing about the TV 14 thing, I, I don't, st- I don't see it full time because WWE has advertisers and I don't think advertisers would go with a TV 14 product. I, that's another thing, too. I will say they're not going to be like AEW. They're not going to be having freaking people going through glass tables. They're not going to do that. That's not WWE. And when you look at WWE right now as a business, look what they did for WrestleMania weekend. They're working with GCW, which is the new, which is kind of like ECW on steroids. If you don't know what that GCW is, Google it. Because that shit, (coughs) that shit's crazy, man. I I didn't see it, but I heard about it. I did watch Raw last night because of the CM Punk. Because... And that's what they're going to do. And that's what these families are going to do. Because when you look at it right now, that's what happened in the 90s too. A lot of families came after the WWE because WWE got all edgy and they had to do it because ECW ECW was there I mean not ECW WCW 
WCW was kicking their ass in the ratings. So they had to use some of ECW to get their friggin' viewership to go up. They had to be controversial. No, I don't see the five-sided ring coming in. Um, but yeah, um, so as he was saying, I don't. Undertaker will not wrestle again. Undertaker's done with wrestling. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, maybe Triple H. That guy can't wrestle. He's got a freaking pacemaker in his heart. The guy almost died from a heart attack a few years ago. You, you really think he's going to come back to wrestling? He can't. But people are going to say, oh, but Jerry the King Lawler did. Uh, they put a freaking stint in his heart after he had a heart attack. That's Jerry Lawler. <clears throat> but when you have a freaking a thing that fucking uh, electrocutes your heart so you won't have a heart attack that's why I, and, and the thing too is Stone Cold Steve Austin there was a video of him on um what was it on Instagram, he was taking um, a therapeutic bath, a, one of those ice therapeutic baths, and they had his um, his old theme song with Disturbed in it, Glass Shatters. By the way, badass song. I love that song. Um, so yeah, that tells you that he's going to be there for WrestleMania. And he's going to get involved in some way. So um, that's going to do it, guys, here uh, tonight. I've been on here for almost three hours. Um, of course, we'll be doing the gameplay tomorrow. Um, by the way, Thursday, Yankees live stream. Um, we'll be, I'll be doing the play-by-play -play of the game. Um we might have some rant. Uh, we're definitely going to rant on that. I know that for a fact that there is going to be a rant on f during that game. So, see you guys uh, t tomorrow. Um, I'll be on after AEW Dynamite, which, by the way, I hope Dynamite's a good show tomorrow. Um, so... Really appreciate it, guys. Uh, till then, have a good night.